What are your thoughts after that game? After you, you have a couple opportunities late in the game, you tie it up in the eighth inning and then aren't able to get the, the run, and mm -hmm. they finally, after, I don't know, eight, nine innings, get a couple hits and, and are able to manufacture a run in the 13th? Well, there's no doubt it was disappointing. It was disappointing. I didn't think Wyatt had his best stuff. Um, you know, his command was off, but he did punch out 11 in seven innings, gave up two hits. Unfortunately, we, you know, we don't block a ball at the plate on a wild, you know, on a, on a three, what was it, an 0-2 pitch or a 1-2 pitch, and it goes into the screen. If we block, we try to pick it. If we, try, if we block it, they don't score the whole game. And uh, that was probably the most disappointing thing is then the triples with two outs, and then they don't end up scoring. And then I thought the kids battled back. You know, we got that run in the eighth. And then we had to, hey, we had probably three or four opportunities from the ninth on. We just need someone to step up and get a hit. You know, we can't get a sack fly with two outs. So, you know, one of the things we talked about was someone's got to want to be up in that spot and not just look for someone else to do it and, and then get it done. And their kids did a good job on the mound. Watchers, I thought, was very good today. I thought Green was tough, and, and they did a good job and made the pitches when they had to, and we didn't capitalize when we had it. I thought we had some good base running with Lacey legging out that double and Timmy taking the extra base on the overthrow. and. So we had our opportunities. We have nobody to blame but ourselves for this one. Um, I thought, you know, I thought we swung the bats a little bit better than they did. Um, I thought Pashi came in and did fine. Obviously, we had way too many free bases between the two errors, a couple wild pit or hit by pitches, and probably eight walks. We struck out 17. So I guess when you walk eight, you can strike out 17 or walk six or whatever we had. Um, and I thought Davis threw well again. I mean, we just keep riding him. And, um, and hoping that he'll throw zero after zero after zero after zero. I mean, it was kind of reminiscent of the Washington game. You know, that ninth, you know, he came in in the, whatever it was, the eighth or ninth and went six scoreless, and then we give up five right after he comes out. And this one, he gives up one in the 13th or whatever it was that we played and it after his, you know, in his fourth inning. And um, we just got to get it done before then. How do you guys bounce back after you know losing the midweek? Uh, after you take a lead in the ninth, mm -hmm. this game you come back late in the game and end up losing it. How do you get the guys to, to rally back? Uh, hey, we're a resilient bunch. I mean, we, we we've done it um, already. You know, we got beat up pretty good against Washington Friday, Saturday. We came back and played them tough and probably should have won that game. Um, we had a a tough game at Friday at A State. We lose five three. We have a tough game on Saturday. We lose ten nine, and then we come back and beat them on Sunday. So. It's a resilient group of kids. It's just, you know, today wasn't our day and we have to come back tomorrow. So I'm not worried about us being up for it and being able to come back from it. Uh, they've done it all year. It's just we've got to play consistent baseball and we just haven't done it. I mean, and that means we've got to get the timely hit because two runs in 13 or 14 innings isn't going to get it done, especially when, you know, we sold out a little bit. Once we got the tie, you know, Davis goes four, and he's been throwing a ton recently, and Paschke threw well again today for the most part, and, you know, Strahan gave us a great start. And so now we just need to regroup and, and get after it, and the bats have got to come alive tomorrow. With so many close games uh, and, you know, being right there at the end of a bunch of games, is this a team that, that's capable, if you can figure out a way to, to get those clutch hits, that's capable of making a run here at the end of the season? I think so. I think so. I really do. Um... I'm confident that we'll get our pitching squared away with the starters going deeper into games. I mean, that's really been our issue the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, but we, like I said, we just got to get that timely hit. And then we got to play a little bit better defense. We made two more errors today. I mean, our defense hasn't been solid for probably three weeks now, and we got to shore that up. But if we do those two things, I think we'll be right where we want to be at the end if, you know, and that's a big if. We just got to put it together. And, um, but I do think we're capable of making a run here.